Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Ansible Control Node server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Ansible Control Node server. So simply from this product page you need to click on continue to subscribe. After that you would be brought to this page on which after accepting the agreement you would be able to click on continue to configuration. And then from here you want to choose the AMI, the software version and the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. And when satisfied simply click on continue to launch. After that you would be brought to this page from where you have two options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from this website or from the EC2 management console. So I am going to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch which is going to open up a new tab with EC2 management console. Now on this tab what you can do is that you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name so I am going to call mine as Ansible. And then scroll on and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. Scroll down even more and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And then choose the key pair by creating either a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. But remember that this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to our SSH terminal of our virtual machine. After that you can go with the default network settings and when satisfied simply click on launch instance. And then you would have to wait for the deployment process to complete. Once the deployment is done, you can simply click on view all instances. Now the virtual machine in the pending state is a newly created virtual machine so simply wait for it to change its state from pending to running. And by the way you can see that I have another virtual machine running which is the additional node which is the node which we will be using to connect to as our host in our inventory file. Anyways when inside the running state, what we can do is that we can right click on our virtual machine and then click on connect. And after that. We need to simply copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a powershell. And after pasting in this command we need to change this path for the path where we have downloaded our private key. Now after replacing the path simply hit enter and when you are prompted type in yes and hit enter once more. Now that is going to allow this command prompt to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. Now the very first thing that we want to do inside this SSH terminal is to verify the installation for Ansible. For that simply type in the command Ansible space double hyphen version and then hit enter. Now it is going to print out the version of Ansible that is installed on this virtual machine which is 2.9.6. After that what we can do is that we can learn how to create an inventory. For that I am going to create a new YAML file which is going to be sudo nano inventory.yaml and for the lines that I want to paste in within this file we are going to simply head over to the official documentation by Ansible and we are going to copy some of the lines over here. So paste these lines inside this YAML file and simply replace this host with the IP address of the host that we are running on our Amazon which is this one. So copy the IP address and paste it inside the Ansible host. What I want to do now is that I want to also provide the Ansible user. So type in Ansible underscore user and the user for my secondary host is Ubuntu. After that I also want to provide the SSH private key. So for that simply type in Ansible underscore SSH underscore private underscore key underscore file. And then I'm going to place that file at etc forward slash ansible forward slash cis dot pam. Cis is going to be the name of the file. And after that, we also want to specify the connection type. For that, simply type in ansible underscore connection. And then it is going to be an SSH connection. And then lastly, I want to save and exit from this file. So type in control O, hit enter, and then control X. After that, I want to verify my inventory.jml file. For that, simply copy this command and paste it inside my SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now as you can see that our host is named as VM01 and is placed inside or grouped inside the virtual machine stack. Now if I want to run this inventory file, I would simply copy this command and paste it inside my SSH terminal and then hit enter. So now it is going to simply ask you if I want to connect to the secondary host or so type in yes and hit enter. But as you can see that we still need to create that cis.pem file or ssh file. So for that simply type in sudo nano and forward slash etc forward slash ansible forward slash cis.pem and then hit enter. And within this file I am simply going to place the data from the ssh file and then save and exit from this file but I am not going to show that in the video. Now after placing in the data in the ssh file what I can do is that I can rerun this command. And this time around it is successfully going to ping the secondary host and return us with success. Now after placing this host inside the inventory what we can do is that we can run a playbook. Now a playbook is essentially a set of tasks that you want to perform automatically using your virtual machine. So for that simply head back to the official documentation. 
go to creating a playbook and from here I'm going to simply copy all of these lines and paste it inside a new file. For that head back to the SSH terminal type in sudo nano playbook.yaml and paste in the lines. Now what this is going to do is that it is going to run some task. The first task is going to be named as ping my host and then it is going to ping my secondary host and upon successful ping it is going to print out a hello world message onto the terminal. So save and exit from the file by using ctrl o, hit enter and then ctrl x. And then to run this playbook simply copy this command and paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Wait for a few moments and you will get the result as success and the hello world message has been printed onto the terminal. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Amazon Web Services. And finally if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.